www.thebrandmakeup.com My name is Liam Janssen and this is my sixth vlog on my journeys in New York. As you can see, I'm looking very rough and you're probably wondering where I am right now, but I'm actually in the hallway of the apartment because our apartment has five girls in it and there's no space, there's, there's two rooms, first of all, and you know, one has four, the other has one now. And yeah, like there's no space to Skype, FaceTime, talk, think. So I'm out in the hallway where I often go when I just need my own space. Sad, I know, but yeah, I'm here. And you're probably thinking, oh, Liam, he's looking a bit odd because that's how I feel right now. Um, fashion week castings have officially begun and I've been receiving between 10 to 12 castings a day. And you know, it's crazy. Like the night before, we'll get our schedules and you know, we have to map out how we're gonna get from this casting to that one, to that one and whatnot. But you know, your plan never really works because you know, you end up getting more casting sent to you or you have been told to go to this one instead or this one takes really long so one of them finishes, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'm flipping shattered. Like, um, castings have different time slots. So one might be from 10 until 12. Another one might be from 11 till one. One might be from three to seven and they they mix and match and they overlap and they clash and whatnot. So it's really difficult and it's always constantly go, go, go. Like you don't stop until your castings are done basically. So, you know, sometimes you might not have lunch or have to just grab something on the go or, you know, a casting might have, you know, be finishing really late and you just have, have to go to it, you know? And I'm proper knackered to be honest. And I've only had like, what, two, two, three days of this. Tomorrow I have 12 castings and after this video I have to do my schedule and I have to write up my posts and I have to edit this so you can imagine just how tired I am. Um, but yeah, like, I may be tired but I'm also very excited for the prospects of what Fashion Week can bring. Um, so yeah, you have to do the castings to get the shows. And how castings work is, you know, you go to the building, it can be, you know, it could be the shop where the designer is, it can be their headquarters, it could be a hotel, it can be basically anywhere. A studio, a photography studio is often a place that they do them. And you go there, there might be a sign-in sheet, so you write your name just so that you can keep an order, but a lot of the time there isn't. So you just have to go in there and be like, who's the last girl? And then you just find your place in the queue basically and you have to keep your eye on the ball because girls will try and get in front of you, you know, but you can't be having that because we all have places to go, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so then you line up, you know, you put your heels on, get ready and whatnot. Sometimes you have to wait, you know, half an hour, hour to be seen. If it's a good client, you will wait. Um, and then once you've been seen, no, once it's your turn, you know, they'll take your book. They might look at your book. Some clients don't. Um, they'll take one of your cards and they'll ask you to walk for them if it's, you know, for a runway show. And then afterwards they'll take your picture, they might ask you to try some bits on and sometimes you can tell if a designer likes you because they might say, oh can you try, on, try this on for us please, or can you walk again, like blah blah, if they show a little bit of interest that could mean they like you. But just because you think they like you, it don't mean nothing, I tell you. So yeah, um, and then afterwards you just go. So the process itself can last from like two minutes to 20 if they ask you to try on those things. but. The wait is usually what takes up the most time when you're doing castings. Tell us how you're finding castings in New York because this is your first season here. Yeah, it's my first season. It's stressful. Like, this is why I look so crap right now because <laughs> I've been on 13 castings today and it's just awful. An hour and 45 minutes I waited at one casting. An hour and 45 minutes. And I saw all sorts there was insane. <laughs> <laughs> How, like, you know the process of casting, like, you know, walking, having your photo taken and stuff, like, is it nerve-wracking or are you just used to it now? Uh, I still get nervous when there's loads of girls and they all stare at you and make you feel a bit uncomfortable when they say your name and everyone's like, oh, who's Terry? <laughs> but yeah, but it's good, I'm not as nervous as I used to be and I get, I find it easier to talk to people now than I used to. That's are you scared about New York Fashion Week? Like yes. the actual shows? Yes, I'm terrified to do a show. I don't, 
I don't really want to think about it, but yeah, I'll be nervous when I walk out on that runway if I do, but hopefully I do. Let's pray I hope if you do, me. I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, people might not know why shows are so important to a model's career, so let me just explain that to you. Um, basically, especially recently, shows have become really important in, you know, building up a name for yourself and, you know, being exposed and being noticed by the right people. So the more shows that you do, obviously, the more press that you get, the more exposure that you get, and you know, you become that hot face if you do all the shows. And if you do the shows, you're more likely to, you know, you get campaigns from them usually, well, not usually, but you're more likely to. And, you know, like, I remember before I did shows, I was working a little bit, but after I did shows, that's when I started booking, like, really good editorials, so, like, magazine spreads, so, like, I booked, like, Teen Vogue, Italian Vogue, all these different magazines and stuff off of the back of shows, because bookers can then use that and be like, well, this, you know, she's done this and she's done this show, and, you know, she's done Mark by Mark Jacobs and blah, 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 and, you know, it just generates more of a buzz. So, basically, to be the it girl, you have to be doing the good shows and getting a you know a good rapport with designers and whatnot so yeah that's why i have to go through all these castings and stuff <laughs> as i said there's now five girls in the house because today one of the girls was sent home back to london because she wasn't you know her body wasn't in shape basically and it's really sad because i really liked her um at, but you know it's really tough you know and some agencies are really really tough and you know New York in general is very very tough on you know how you know how in shape they want girls to be so you know it is it's not just oh yeah you're skinny you're tall you can do it blah 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 it's not just that because you could be slim but you might not be slim enough or you can be slim but not have like the right body you know you might not be toned and whatnot and some models have to really work hard to maintain their bodies so people who just think oh you're tall skinny whatever whatever models have it easy blah blah, blah. they don't you know some girls have really strict diets some girls you know have personal trainers and do all this stuff to maintain their bodies you know